UFC London wouldn't be the same without your presence here, Brad. So it's great to talk to you. Look, you have Nathaniel Wood on the card. He's your guy. You mentor him. You coach him. Excited about his fight? I mean, beyond words, you know. Like, I'm, I'm very excited for him to just feel the, the energy that this, this stadium uh, gives off. It's amazing, the crowd here, 18,000 people. It was an amazing experience throughout my career, and I'm so happy that, not just for Nathaniel to, to experience himself, but also for the UK fans to, to see him. Because he's fought twice in the UFC, two finishes, but that was in America. You know? So now he's back here. And, uh, people know about him on Cage, Cage Warriors, know about him. There's maybe some people here don't know about him, but after tomorrow night they will. If they don't know about him, what's his speciality, if you like? I mean, we know he's got two submissions in the UFC so far, but he wants the knockout, right? He, he wait, same, same as most athletes nowadays, you have to be very well-rounded, very well-rounded to compete in this sport. Uh, and yeah. Nathaniel's no, no, nothing less. He's got good wrestling, good ground, but like most people like myself, he likes to stand up and he wants to get a knockout. But he finished the fight anyway. He's very, he's very professional with his approach to the game inside the octagon, outside the octagon. And uh, yeah, so I, but I, me as a coach, when I look back, I look at this fight statistically, I can't see uh, anything but a finish. And I think it'd be the first round or second round. Okay, that black eye that you're sporting there, is that from him? Uh, no, not actually, it wasn't from me. <laughs> it was cut away, but it's from other people, yeah. I still get in there a little bit and, uh, you know, test these young kids out. You know, obviously sometimes I'm not getting the better of them anymore. <laughs> well, I know you get your own back, so prior to him walking into the cage, you do the face slap. Yes. Where did that come from and will he, how many slaps will he be getting on Saturday night? Because it's growing in number. <laughs> no, no, I think he wants me to cut it back down. But basically, it all started off with his dad. His dad's been a massive part of his tremendous part of his career as dad should be uh, but it started off with him he's, throughout his beginning of his career he's always got slapped and there was one, one, one fight I think it was in his Cage Warriors debut against Vaughan Lee where his dad couldn't be in the corner and I, I took on that role and I'm not giving it back <laughs> it's the most satisfying thing I think I've ever done you know, and it gives me a chance to be able to hit Nathaniel uh, I can't even inspire him he's way too quick for me now and of course March 31st, for people that don't know, you're doing your first ever bare knuckle boxing yes. match. So you haven't left this no, game no, altogether. This is, my, this is my Okay, how are you preparing for that? Um, for me, I actually find it quite, quite um, not, I wouldn't say easy, training is always hard, but it's a lot easier to fit in my busy schedule because it's one thing where I sort of think because in, when you prepare for a boxing fight, it's running, hitting pads, it's a little bit of sparring, strength conditioning, a bit of technique work fine when you put in MMA you got wrestling grappling on top of that it, and wrestling grappling at my age is a lot tougher on my body so uh, technically obviously I've retired so I have my gloves up but the small print is this thing wearing gloves is bare knuckle so there's a small print there and have... it, it's hard for me to stay away a little <laughs> bit uh, and for me it's five two minute rounds it's quite easy and I, that's for me was my favorite part of of fighting as well was to stand up and definitely the boxing side of it. So I do think I, I, I'd be all right. Look, we have such an exciting card. A lot of British talent coming up tomorrow night. And of course, Mark Diakese is another um, athlete of yours. Tell us a little bit about Mark and how he's feeling ahead of the fight. Well, well, I've known Mark for a little bit. He, he came over to America Top Team when I was there. That's where my uh, first met him and my relationship grew with him. And uh, he's come back now. Uh, and he's training at home. He's training a bit more up north. I don't really train him as much as I like to, uh, but he's back home and he's concentrating himself. And sometimes when you go to these big camps overseas, some, it can be a lonely place, really, you know, because there's so many talented guys there and you, sometimes it's, you, he's trying to get attention. Uh, and we're, I think coming back home, back to England, we're, we're basically important to the UFC, got in there in the first place. Uh, he's back now with, with some coaches who are going to give him the full attention that, you know, sometimes fighters need. And I, I could see him, you know, see a different my dear Casey tomorrow night. Yeah, because it was here in London, we saw him get that spectacular 30-second knockout and then he went on to have those losses. But Joe Duff is no no pushover. Yeah. Um, you know, what challenge did Joe pre present, you know, present to him? Well, I've trained with Joe for, yeah. for, for years as well. He, he trained in my, my, my gym and he's... Yeah, again, fantastic in, in all areas. Very good boxing. He comes. He came from a pro boxing yeah. background as well. Uh, he has very good hands. So for me, this is a very exciting fight. You know, very exciting fight. And I can see both guys winning in different ways. It may be a case like it is so much in this sport. Whoever turns up on the night and performs will come away with the win. Can I ask for your prediction or at least insights into Till versus Masvidal? Yes. Masvidal's your guy. 
Masvidal, I mean, like, obviously I'm patriotic. I, I love being British and uh, English, you know, so obviously, and I love Darren Till. I mean, I, I cannot like him. I love Darren Till and also what he's doing for the sport. Uh, and I get on with him really well. You know, he's the top guy, really down to earth. Um, but also Masvidal, you know, obviously he's not from my country, but he's, a, he's been the training partner for years and he's such a cool dude. So this guy's so laid back, he could be sleeping on the floor, you know, like he just loves to fight. You know, he started off in Miami doing, you know, backyard fights and stuff and look at him now he's, he's in the sold out o2 arena tomorrow night it's fantastic to see his progression uh, within the game and uh i mean the first time i, I fought on some show with him was in bodog on, in costa rica and he if you speak to him to ask him about the, the after pies on that show it was pretty funny so it's, it's just seeing his journey you know uh, and being here today uh being here tomorrow night it's going to be a great fight and these two guys they like to fight so it's going to be good you want my prediction on it? I think for Till to get the job done, has to do it early. I think in the first round, two rounds, if he goes past that, I think the, the weight cut may take his hold. He does cut a lot of weight. So I don't think we've seen, he has had one five round fight before. Unfortunately, he didn't go five rounds. Uh, but if he goes five rounds, it'd be quite interesting to see where Masvidal doesn't cut a lot of weight anymore. He used to 555, now he's gone up. So he, he, he may have a lot more pop, more bouncy. So I think early on, Till needs to get the job done. Otherwise, uh, I think Masvidal could come away with his experience and mm. movement. You know? Okay, and I'll ask you as well about Leon Edwards, Gunnar Nelson. Yeah, this, this man, I mean, like this card is stacked. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the start of the card to the end of the card. It's like, for me, Gunnar Nelson is a phenomenal martial artist in all areas. And for me, Leon Edwards is like a really talented athletic fighter with confidence now. That's the thing where, where I think he's grown with his last six wins in a row. You know, he's got that bit of swag. And sometimes at this level, it's, it's about that confidence and having that kind of like bravado and, uh, and belief in yourself. Uh, so for me, back in a few fights ago, I would have definitely gone to uh, uh, Gunnar Nelson. Uh, I don't know how part of me is kind of edging towards uh, uh, Edwards in this one. But, um, I don't know. I, yeah. I, yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. Again, don't be on the fence all the time. <laughs> but sometimes, like I say, at this level, whoever performs the night, you know, will get the job done. You know, so depends how uh, Liam performs under the big crowd. You know. Okay. Well, great to talk to you again, Brad. Enjoy Thank tomorrow you. night, and we'll chat to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.